So clerical, 28,288, 28,280 versus 33,824 is in fact statistically significantly different. And custodial versus clerical, of course, is the same test. And then finally, we have manager versus clerical and custodial. And we can see that in both cases, uh, we have statistically significant differences. So let me just go over that again. Clerical mean versus custodial mean is statistically significantly different each other. So the custodians are earning more than the, the clerks. The clerks are also earning less than managers. Clerk versus manager, clerk versus manager, mean difference of 29,525 is also statistically significant. Now the last one that we haven't looked at in terms of all possible combinations is custodial versus manager, which amounts to 23,982 difference and is also statistically significant. So all role levels are statistically significantly different for, from each other based on the following post hoc tests. And these are least significant difference says it over here, least significant difference. And the reason why I feel justified in doing that, rather than a Bonferroni correction or some other type of uh, correction, is because the simulation research that shows that if you have four levels or less, then if you get a significant ANOVA, you can follow that up with some post hoc tests and not worry about inflating your type 1 error. Now, arguably, to the more interesting part of the analysis, we wouldn't have... It, it's it's surprising that males earn more than females in the sense that that shouldn't be true um, but it seems like it's true in this data in these data but other research has already shown that to be true uh, so and then roll le across ca job category well that's not interesting either we'd expect managers to earn more than clerks uh, the custodian thing maybe that's in interesting that custodians earn more than clerks I don't know uh, but here's the interaction and here are the interaction means. Uh, so the male clerk means uh, earn 31,000 versus female clerk means who only earn 25,000. Uh, and now again, to, again getting to the interaction, the interaction what we want to know is whether there's a statistically significant difference in the means that is uh, across all levels of, of clerical custodial manager. Now for some reason, SPSS didn't uh, tell us that, and I should note that that's actually not testing the interaction precisely, but I'll show you what a lot of people do, and it's still interesting. But what, what I'll point out first is that we've got employment category, and then we've got the estimates for the means, and then we've got the pairwise comparisons and the univariate tests. But when it came to the gender interaction, all SPSS has done is gave us the means. It didn't give us anything else like the pairwise comparisons. And what I'm interested in knowing is whether there's a statistically significant difference between uh, managers, males and females at manager level, males and females at custodial, and males and females at clerical. Why didn't SPSS give me those means? It doesn't do it. You have to do it in the syntax. So go into Analyze, General Linear Model, Univariate, and just it's the same analysis. I'm going to paste the syntax. And I'm going to add one term to the syntax. You'll notice the estimate, uh, estimated marginal means is this part here of the syntax. And we've got the compare, adjusted least significant difference, least significant difference. But it didn't do it for the interaction. So I've got to go compare. And then I add the comparisons that I actually want. I have to add gender as my factor. So that's going to give me the mean differences between males and females across each job category level. And that's what I want to look at. So I need to run this again to get that piece of output. Now I could have some of you might be wondering why is he doing it across why is he doing it for gender like technically I could have put job category here and then put gender uh, I mean uh, just leave gender and your job cat here and then add job category here and then do a series of tests across gender but it wouldn't have been informative as informative um, 
I don't, it, it's actually the same analysis, but I just feel it's more intuitively in, informative to do it with gender. So let's look at the extra output that SPSS is giving us. Everything else is the same.